Now we are going to see how to find one of the game objects in the hierarchy through a certain tag assigned to it. All game objects lists in the hierarchy have this same part, these values here and the transform component. When we create an empty object, it will have at least these things. Among them, we have this field called tag. By default, a game object will have this tag assigned. In the list, we have some predefined tags and we can also create a new one by clicking here. So let's create a tag. In this window, click on the plus sign, write the name of the tag and save it. This way, we create a new tag. Now we have to assign it. So go to the object and select the created tag from the list. Now, using this information, we're going to find the reference of this game object inside the script. For that, we're going to use the find game object with tag method that is inside the game object class. Be careful because there are two versions. This version in plural is going to return all the game objects in the hierarchy that have that tag. In our case, as we are only looking for one object, we have to use this version without the S. Notice that here this little window tells us that this function returns a game object and that it needs a string as parameter. The string should contain the name of the tag of the object we want to find. So up here I will define a string variable with the name of the tag and use it in the function. As all this instruction returns a game object, we can assign it to a game object field, like this one. With this, it should work. We enter the play mode, and here, as we see, in the object to find variable, this object appears. So we found the reference through its tag. A problem with this method is when we have more than one object with the same tag. Here, I have duplicated the object. As you can see, both have the same tag. When we enter the play mode, Unity will return only one of the objects. When we click the variable in Inspector, we see that this is the object that is assigned in this variable. Also, if we miswrite the tag, we will get a console error because that tag is not defined. Here is another problem. When we create a new tag, it will not be automatically assigned. We have to go to the object and assign it. And that's something I usually forget. Look, in this case, there is no object in the hierarchy that has this tag and when we enter in the play mode and this instruction is executed, Unity is going to check all the hierarchy and it won't find any object that has this tag. Consequently, it will return null as result. And if we use this field for something, for example here, we will get a null reference exception error. So the whole problem is that we forgot to assign a tag, but the console doesn't tell us that. It is simply telling us that on line 16, we are using a field that has a null value. So we have to interpret this error. We have to see where this field was initialized and try to figure it out. In this instruction, we are trying to find the object by tag. The name of the tag is correct, so there is no problem here. It should be working. We go to the hierarchy and check the object we are looking for, and we realize that the tag isn't assigned. And there, we discover the problem. This is another problem. When you make changes in the play mode, then you exit, those changes are revert.